we're empty again. I had to swing by Tim's. I did it again, guys. I have a problem. And so does every other Canadian. Why do we keep going back to Tim's? It's not Canadian. There's nothing Canadian about Tim Hortons anymore. We all know it, and we keep going back. We have a problem. It used to be Canadian. It used to be the pride of Canada. It's something different now, right? But here I am. Don't look at me like that. You do it too. You do it too. We need to fix this. I don't know what to do. But it's not my problem for right now. So I've got my coffee. I've got my uh, my wrap. I'm going to go to KK Penner in Blumenor. That's my tire shop. And what they're going to do is they're going to take my driver's side steer and they're going to take it off the rim and flip it around because the outside edge is wearing too quickly and I want it to wear evenly. So we're going to flip it around on the rim, put it back on the truck, and then I'm going to go home. We gotta stop this. We gotta stop it. Might need to talk to someone. I don't know. We got a problem. Look at all these guys in the in the drive-thru too. See, I'm not alone. It's not just me. The worst part about it is that, you know, we'll go around and we'll say, yeah, the pride of Canada, Tim Hortons. The former Pride of Canada. Maybe I'm being too harsh. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Tell me, am I being too harsh? Do you think Tim Horton still represents Canada and Canadians? Let me know down below what you think. Am I alone? If you if you still think it does, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's get onto the highway here. Let's get this tire flipped around. Let's go home. It's the long weekend. I'll be home till Tuesday. I'm here at KK Penner now. I'm going to be going into that open door right there most likely. But there's already a truck in there right now. A Volvo. So we got to wait for Mr. Volvo to get out of there. And then we'll uh, we'll bring in old Kenny, old Blue, and uh, I'll show you what I mean with my tire. Uh, so this tire used to be on the passenger side, and the outside wore down quicker than the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tire off the rim, flip it around so that this side of the tire is on the inside. And hopefully that will even out our uh, our tire wear on this one. If not, uh, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to replace that tire very soon, within the next uh, month or two. And they should last like another year yet. So I really don't want to uh, replace it yet if I don't have to. So we're gonna try to save it, rotate it, and uh, like I said, just even out the wear a little bit. I will see. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes tires just wear a little funny and then gets out of control. But I think I waited a little bit too long to rotate it from the passenger side to the driver's side. And the passenger side always wears out faster because the truck is usually leaning a little bit to the passenger side, especially on two-lane roads, because they build the road like this so water runs off the road, right? Which makes you sort of lean to the right and uh, makes that tire wear a little bit faster, usually. So it's not uncommon. But then you rotate it to the driver's side, put the driver's side over there, and then it wears evenly. But I think I waited too long. So I'm gonna go in and talk to them and see how quick we can get in here. I'll have to wait for Mr. Volvo to be done though. Waiting on a Volvo. Well, we're back. We're getting everything from this truck into this truck. A little squishy in here, but I have just enough room for everything. Got the pickup in here, just enough room. The camper back there, I've got to get that ready this week actually. Our friends are borrowing it. I think it's next weekend, so I'm gonna have to start getting that ready. 
before I leave on my next trip and pull it out so that it's easier for them to grab. And then I got old blue in here with enough room to open the hood. So like I said, I'm just getting all of my stuff from my trip out of the truck and into the back of here. And then I'm gonna head home. Well, this was a very short video. Uh, I had just pretty much got into the truck. I got unloaded, got to KK Panner, got those tires rotated. That turned out well. Got back to my shop, parked it, came home, and uh, enjoyed the long weekend. And that's why there hasn't been any videos the last couple of days. Last weekend for us was uh, Canada Day weekend, and that was that weekend right there. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I didn't have any videos. So I should have another video for you out tomorrow for you, because this is being released on the Monday now. So Tuesday is when the regular vlogs will start back up again, just so you're up to date. Other than that, just wanted to fill you in where I've been, why it's been a little quiet. Been a long weekend. It was sort of like a long week in North America because there was Canada Day and then later in the week was Independence Day in the U.S. So I hope you guys had a great celebration down there. Let me know what you guys did for your celebrations. If you celebrated Canada Day, what did you do for your celebrations there? We pretty much just stayed at home and enjoyed the weather. <laughs> had some friends over. But I'll talk to you tomorrow uh, for a regular full-length vlog. I tune into my other social media as well. And down below on my Instagram and my Facebook especially, that's where I'm most active. If you want to keep up with me on those days when you don't see a video posted from me, I'm usually posting stuff on Facebook, Instagram. I also have a TikTok. All of the, the tags and the usernames for that are down below every one of my videos in the description. If you're on a mobile device, you just click the title. You go down below, just keep scrolling down. There's quite a bit. You might have to click the more button. Go down to my social media, and those are my official social media. There's no other social media. The scammers have been present in my comment section again. Uh, so be aware of that. They take my profile picture uh, and they use it, but then they have a username that's somewhere, something close to mine, like Trucker Josh something. But remember, my username, when I leave a comment, has a check mark behind it, verifying that it is an official account. If you're still unsure and you get a message or a reply in the comments from something, someone who looks like me, you can always click on that username, see if it takes you to my page where all of my videos are listed and all of my playlists. If it doesn't, that's not me. They're gonna to try to get you to go off to some off-site platform like Telegram or WhatsApp, <coughs> something like that. Don't fall for that. I don't have a Telegram and I don't have a public WhatsApp. Uh, I'm not gonna get you to leave this site. You're already on my main page here on YouTube. I don't want you to leave, I want you to stay. I want you to watch more videos right here on my page. So I'm never gonna tell you to go like, oh, go find me on the, go and, talk to me on here and then you know eventually they're gonna butter you up a little bit and they're gonna start asking you for like to send them money and stuff or something like that so i don't know exactly what their scams are i don't engage with them it's a problem that is across all of youtube and all of youtube's comment sections on every video so just be vigilant if you get a reply from someone who says oh hey it's trucker josh replying to me it's got the same profile picture wait does it have the check mark beside his name hmm i'm still unsure click the username See if it brings you to my page. That's how you check. But uh, just be vigilant of that. Uh, if you want to know where my official social media platforms are, like I said, in the description of my videos, that's my official social media. Nothing else is mine. So don't fall for these people trying to get whatever money or whatever they want out of you or they just want to mess with you. I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's not me. So I'll see you tomorrow on the full length vlog. Oh, we have some short videos coming out on TikTok and Instagram, Facebook as well. So that's why I mentioned those if you guys want to go tag along there. When there's not a video on my page here, there might just be some short content or short form content posted there. I'll talk to you later.